when we did gangs of wasepur yeah. you know with nawaz and with uh, with uh, with manoj completely again a very different uh, you know attempt of taking a product to theater is this a film <clears throat> where language is the key or is this a film where the visual language is the key yeah. and for that we supported the visual language with the 3d with an ibax so i think it's not a one size fits all couple of people from the iaf who were a consultants on each shot so we i had couple of people always monitoring the badges uh, their behavior their uniform their rank this is my first schedule with him and he said that you know you the way you shoot reminds me exactly of my dad so <laughs> i was a little uh, very happy <laughs> Welcome to Instant Bollywood. I'm with the makers of Fighter Siddharth and Ajit. So so nice to have you. And congratulations. I watched the film and I really 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 liked it. Yeah. So kudos for that and getting this genre uh, to us which we haven't seen before. And my question to you is that that jab humne aisa pehle dekha nahi hai seeing aerial combat and you know it was so much fun to actually watch that film. It was very entertaining. As a director and producer, how do you feel like is this going to be bankable? Because it's a huge risk, and at the same time, you know you're introducing something new which people haven't seen, and we've seen like the results <coughs> before, uh, where Top Gun really didn't do well in India. So, did you have that kind of inhibition? Top Gun is uh, is made by Paramount, yeah. and uh, you know we bring it to India. So we are very aware as to what Top Gun did because it was globally a one and a half billion dollar film, but in India it struggled to even touch fifty crores. So going in, we were very aware that what we are not making is a niche, urban, slick, only uh, you know, aerial action film, which only a very small set of people will identify with. Very, very clear. Yeah, we were not doing that. We were not doing mm. that. Yeah. Right. What we were doing is, look, we have to bring this part, which has never been done in an Indian film, which is the entire the world of air force, which is to be opened for the first time, which includes aerial action, but which also goes beyond that and shows their life, their pressures. what kind of things they respond to yeah. and when you see the kind of dog fights yeah. what is humanly going through that you know pilot's mind and what is he doing how in a fraction of second if he's locked what does he do and these are all the conversations that this film has started you know i go back to the example of um, you know a queen yeah where uh, a film of that kind where you know people said is it even possible people will come and watch a film like this in theater and it went on to create a cult yes. you know when we did gangs of wasepur you know with nawaz and with uh, with uh, with manoj completely again a very different uh, you know attempt of taking a product to theater right more recently if you see uh, andhadhun we again did people said who will watch a film like this you know and look when we did drishyam yeah. people said that but ajay devgan when you take him in a singham he beats up the cops yeah. you are getting him beat up in the beaten, beaten up in the film and its film name is uh, drishyam which is like a south indian name today where is that film it's a 250 crore film True. So I think I am very conscious of the risks that get taken in this, and we were aware of the risks. Yeah, I have about the audience that they've accepted it and they've yeah, they've yeah. Uh, they've uh, enjoyed this genre, which is uh, which is yeah. new, so new. And I, you know, the thing is that I've done I've done car chases, I've done bike chases, now I'm doing plane chases. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, so you have fun. to push it. and give audience that ride in the theater and that's what you come to my films for yeah i think we were always um, uh, aware of the fact that this is a new genre and uh, uh, that you know that people people uh, will take their time to understand uh, you know that what 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 aerial action really is because that word itself is new yeah so i i think we were we were always aware of that and fighter 1 is that so fighter 1 sets the tone of of what a uh, aerial action is people get that people got engaged excited about it and now hopefully fighter 2 will do yeah. what our ambition actually is uh, so we're not we're not here to just make one stand alone film it is a world that we are setting up and we are amazed happy excited thrilled with the result that we've got the love and the numbers across the world mm. from uh, fighter and it's it's exactly what we anticipated for the first part and uh, this is a stand alone film it's not a franchise uh, it's a new genre and um, i think i give full credit to uh, to our audience that they have uh, come out and watched this film loved it and recommended it to different people and say you've not seen fight of please go see it that how much i've heard yeah. <laughs> some some things like this happening i think the word of mouth is just starting to play on the film 
and the the film is just started i think <laughs> you know i have to ask because so you spoke about accessibility and also how things are going right now uh, in a world where everything is pan india and everyone's dubbing their films how what was the intention to not get this dubbed in other languages i think also that that comes from our experience uh, for example my experience in pathan for example um, we realized that a majority of the audience in the south is consuming the film in hindi yeah although we do give it in subtitles in the south also when it's a hindi language and i realized that they are consuming it in our our primary language and they're enjoying it um, and uh, so that's when i had a chat with them and said let's let's only release it in hindi because people will come and watch it in hindi and mm-hmm. that's what's happening yeah. they're all coming and watching it in uh, one language so look language which language is <coughs> released in is again a slightly more nuanced uh, you know discussion so what happens is you are asking a question will this give me incremental Yeah, like it won't affect the numbers. No, no. So I think that is what people possibly don't understand as well. Yeah. That you know, languages may not necessarily add up. Mm. If, for example, I am getting Telugu box office, but my Hindi number is going down there. So on on total, have I actually it levels gained, out actually? It levels out. So that's one aspect of it. There is another aspect, which is: is this a film <clears throat> where language is the key, or is this a film where the visual language is the key? There's this one particular scene which I don't think I personally expected that I'm going to see is when uh, Rithik after inter- his introduction shot the shot where he's shirtless and the whole theater literally was shocked was this like thought through or because even he said that I worked so well on my body and I had gajar ka halwa after I was done with all those shots that is that is my requirement for Rithik <laughs> I said that yeah. I wanted to see I wanted to see how a pilot gets ready from the beginning from the morning <laughs> so I said we have to go into the shower yeah. get up get Take a shower. Go walk to the the locker room. Check check your uniform out. Take the helmet. Zip your overall yeah. and walk out. So I wanted to show the, a day in the life of a pilot. And obviously, you got a great body. So I want to see it. <laughs> But, I want the audience uh, to see I it. I mean, I I actually love the subtext there because yeah. I don't think the I think you've seen only one part because what he's cutting it with yeah. is actually the anatomy of the plane. So we actually juxtaposed so, it yeah. with the anatomy of the plane. So yeah. every time you cut to a body part of Rithik, you cut to the wings. Of the aircraft, you see his shoulders yes. is the shoulder of the aircraft. Yeah. So the juxtaposition, the deeper thought was that I was just yeah, <laughs> yeah, it came there. across very nice visually yeah. and even <clears throat> uh, again a conscious effort to kind of get a lot of humor and a love story and high on emotions. Also, this time was that like okay because uh, you had I saw, saw one of your interviews where you said that I wanted to do that in war, which I realized later, yeah. and then I made sure that I do this in uh, fighter. I I made that I made sure I did that in Pathan actually. Oh yeah, Pathan. <laughs> and brought in the humor there. But this is actually uh, also a film about bonding, about a team, about the camaraderie that happens in a team, in a unit. You have characters who are funny, you have characters who are somber, who are thoughtful, um somebody who's aloof. So you have a variety of characters who come together and uh, uh, you always in every group there's one guy who's funny. um so you have you created a group that has eclect an eclectic mix of people and the bond that they have is they have a lot of fun together they go for a picnic they spend time around a bonfire in the evening they pull each other's legs they go to uh, the the adhus that restaurant which is the kashmiri restaurant mm. in shrinagar um uh, which lends to a very real feeling i wanted yeah. those people to feel very tangible yeah. even though they are efos officers they actually real people they have real fun ek dusri tang kheechte hain मजाक उड़ाते हैं दे फॉल इन लव दे वाइफ द वाइफ फायर्स हर हजबेंड शी पुल्स हिज लेग ये सब रियल चीजें हैं एंड दैट्स व्हाट आई थिंक वी बोरोड फ्रॉम रियल लाइफ इंस्टेंसेस एंड टू मेक इट मोर रिलेटेबल टू द पीपल you know i even have to ask because actually when we were having that group interview <coughs> there was one thing that came in my head where because this film you know talking about india and it's about iaf do you feel like a little risky and a sense of responsibility that each frame has to be carefully shown because you don't know what would offend whom no absolutely i think uh, we were extremely careful in fact we had uh, a couple of people from the iaf who were a consultants on each shot so we i had couple of people always monitoring the badges uh, their behavior their uniform their ranks um, what they are speaking how they conducting the conducting themselves how they are pronouncing certain words so it is as authentic as it can be so the balance was how do we make it authentic yet commercial mm. and that is where i think as a director i had to find that balance. right balance uh, so that it doesn't feel like a documentary and it feels like a commercial hindi picture but yes i i was very clear i wanted a very authentic authentic film and that i really was 
certain I wanted to showcase this film to the might of the Air Force. Mm. And that day, I don't want to sit in a corner and cringe. Why did I do that? I want to stand there proud and shake their hands and them tell me we are proud of this film. And that's exactly what happened. Mm. We showed this film to them on 24th of January in Delhi to the uh, uh, chief of the air staff, Mr. Chaudhary, and over 100 air marshals from across India. Yeah. And all they came and told all of us was, we are so proud of this film that we finally have a film that showcases us in the right light and showcases our proud pride and glory mm -hmm. and so that there's nothing more validating and uh, uh, satisfying for us uh, than seeing them being proud of this film and finding it as authentic as, as it can be no absolutely i think sitting here we don't realize what they go through on yeah. a daily basis it's yeah. quite risky even uh, your bond with rithik roshan is so like you know like you all are like brothers now yeah. and when i heard that story of how um, you were scared to text him <laughs> the first time now when that relationship is a little personal also do you all have creative differences and how do you all come to a middle ground as an actor director i think we have uh, uh, rather rather creative discussions there's no differences uh, there is there are viewpoints and what is great is that we are very aligned in our thinking you know the thing is that sometimes i feel i think he also feels that we are like uh, twins separated because his thoughts occur and i complete them oh and it so is like telepathy yeah exactly i think that's a secret um, the, of our uh, creative association because we are touch wood rarely out of sync yeah. and uh, you know we are both very commercial in our sensibilities and yet we know that we don't want to leave uh, authenticity uh, and uh, and uh, relatability but yet want to present a little heightened reality wali picture so uh, we align on that and uh, our sensibilities touch wood are in sync i don't really remember us having i don't remember us having any really creative uh, argument i think i've been working with him for the last 10 12 years now ever Yeah, I think the first time actually in, we, I, I shot with him was in Bang Bang, and we were shooting on uh, you know in Similan Islands in in uh, in, in Thailand, the part where uh, Katrina and his character escape on the jet fly, mm. fly board, and and uh, there was a, a jet ski chase. We finished that shoot, and we were at the airport coming back, and Rithik told me that it was my first schedule with him, and he said that you know you the way you shoot reminds me exactly of my dad. So I was a little very happy, oh, <laughs> obviously, and but I was a very inquisitive. He says because you know you have a knack of of uh, getting things out of me uh, very cleverly. Yeah. <laughs> He says my dad knows exactly how to make me do something that I probably don't believe in, mm. but you make me do it, yeah. and then when I do it, I realize oh my god, you're right. Yeah. I this is the way to do it. So I think it's just. I think we just—it's a karmic connection that I think Rithik and me have that I can't explain. I think it's a even I've, I've observed. So you know, I mean, there is a—I would say there is a creative security yeah. when uh, these guys have worked together, and I think I've felt that that's an important element because, look, I mean, when you're uh, dealing with stars, you're talking about people who you know made you know legendary cinema. There is always an anxiety: how will the other person feel? and that is the creative insecurity if you get to that space then you are always going to be a little held back and sure i don't know what will he feel i think what i see here is uh, there is no fear as to what he is going to feel and i think that's why the uh, the free flow uh, of uh, opinions ideas and you know that's where you find yourself coming on the same page i think it's a very vital aspect for especially a big film yeah and also i think i think uh, taking a cue from what he's saying is is that the single minded focus is not self ego mm. or it's getting film, a one upmanship yeah. it's only the film so when i'm saying something to him and rithik wants to say something back countering that i know he's not doing it just to assess that listen i'm the hero of the film and uh, you should listen to me there's no power involved there there is absolutely. zero power it he's, is just purely actor. for the film yeah so you know i hear him out and i hear and he's got a great mind and he's actually a closet director he's got a great why i say closet director is because his perspective is of the film hmm. entirely a 360 on the film and uh, it's not only about his character or so, himself yeah. yeah or himself yeah. so i know where he's coming from is very honest and it's very true for the film so and he knows that whatever i also want is not to assert my position and say listen i have the right to veto i'm the director yeah. you can say what you want but the decision is mine 
so we don't assert any sort of ego or power play we are in for the film and it's purely very honest and like he said secure because i know i'm going to look look for his back and he's going to look after mine yeah. constantly we are there for each other teamwork dream work that's what <laughs> you know even uh, the fact that what it was a blockbuster and it did so well when commercial films were not doing that well even uh, pathan ke time pe itna pressure tha because shark sir was coming yeah. after a while uh, do you feel like now for yourself you have an unrealistic expectation every time a film comes out i think audience because is the moment that. we see siddharth and acha itna to karegi film <laughs> i it's... think that's what saying what you saying is right the audience puts that yeah. but obviously the thing is that that's not going to deter me from trying new things yaar I think the easiest thing, like I've been saying in my earlier interviews, कि मैं यार Bang Bang two बना लेता हूँ, War two बना लेता हूँ, Pathan two बना लेता हूँ. I've set so many franchises, but मैं Fighter क्यों बना रहा हूँ? It's because I want even Fighter to be a, a film that hopefully will will push, you know, our audience's sensibilities in watching new action. Yeah. Car chase, bike chase, कितना देखोगे आप यार? So you know, अभी plane chase, I want to introduce this to to the audience that there is so much more in action. Yeah. and i'm constantly constantly going to push it and i mean uh, i mean kudos to the audience yeah. full credit to the audience for coming out and loving the film and uh, giving it these numbers and uh, this is just part 1 yeah so hopefully it empowers us to do so much more yeah. in part 2 No, I've enjoyed the plane chase more than car chases and bike chases yeah. for sure it's insane you know, lastly i have to ask that uh, Today also, I know a set of people who will still watch Anjana Anjani and Jana, 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 feel like so good because it's like so much repeat value to the film. Yeah. Uh, does that mean that you will somewhere not not make those kind of films or we won't see that because there's also like where we see these kind of films and we enjoy it. There's also like a film like a Rocky Rani or a Tu Jooti Mein Makar that people are actually enjoying at the same time. Yeah. So, what do you have to say about that? Will you come back to rom coms? Um, not for a while, yeah. Right now, I have. Uh, I have my task cut out. I want to just uh, do things that really push me, uh, push my company, push my team to give uh, uh, experiential films to the audience, yeah. and uh, things that uh, you know in our in our country that uh, we don't attempt yeah. and we don't do. I want to just push that a little bit, and then I'll come back to my comfort zone. Maybe sometime <laughs> later. Yeah, for one ekat film you can make. Maybe <laughs> just for you. <laughs> I'm waiting. Thank you so much. It was lovely talking to you. Wish you all the very best for Thank everything you. coming in the future, and Thank congratulations you. on Fighter. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.